Environ Life Science Limited Partnering for Life Hello I am Dr Vijay Kakkar I am a senior consultant in plastic and cosmetic surgery as Kakkar Healthcare in Janakpuri and iraq medical center in dubai so today we will be discussing about some aspects of the plastic surgery so plastic surgery is quite a myth in common people name they think that some kind of plastic is used in this kind of surgery but it is not like that plastic means that it is a, a kind of mold the plastic you use the word so you can mold anything you can mold any part to the desired shape you can mold your nose you can mold your face breast and any other part of the body that's why it is called plastic surgery another common thing is a cosmetic surgery and plastic surgery are these two different no plastic surgery and cosmetic surgery are basically one part but in plastic surgery we make things back to normal like it can be a reconstructive surgery or it can be maxillofacial surgery after an injury or some kind of tissue losses where we do some free flaps skin grafts and other things if we talk about plastic surgery it has different divisions which are reconstructive surgery cosmetic surgery microvascular surgery hand surgery then genital reassignment surgery or genital surgeries like that and uh, plastic surgery can be in any part of the body from head to toe so we operate all areas of the body so and cosmetic surgery is another branch of the plastic surgery only but in this we are trying to achieve super normal things patient is already normal his nose is normal breast is normal but we want to enhance it we want to highlight it so that we can make it look much better so in cosmetic surgery we have different areas like if we discuss today uh, from head to if we start from the head so we have hair transplants in the patients these days we do all kinds of hair transplant it can be a kind of strip method if that is called fut or fue that is a no scar almost no scar or scarless surgeries of our hair transplants this gives excellent results and results are really good then another area in the face is forehead lift or an eyebrow lift and then is eyelid baggy eyelids and loosening eyelid with excessive fat in the lower lid we can do blepharoplasty surgeries and can improve the face value in a highly appreciable manner then another surgery in the face is very common is called rhinoplasty or nose surgery in rhinoplasty we can change the shape of the nose to what we desire but ultimately it depends on what kind of skin you are having what what is your face dimensions so we can change the dimensions of the face uh, and as well as the nose we can make it thin uh, beautiful looking any obstruction in the nose that can also be removed simultaneously with this cosmetic surgery then we can do lip surgeries if the lips are very thick and we can make them thin or desirable shape we can change chin size we can put chin implants and make them face look much better as we know that face is a fixed dimensions uh, the upper one third middle one third and lower one third they are almost similar in in size so anybody who is having a small chin we can increase the size and make the face oval looking and make it look much better then we can do facelift surgeries uh, facelift surgeries basically are done from the ear in front of the ear wherever there is loose skin and underlying tissues that is mass that is tightened up and we make the face look much better similarly in the neck with the age neck start looking old we can make it look much better then another very common surgery is breast surgeries so breast surgeries are either increase in size that is with the help of breast breast implants or decrease in size called reduction surgeries or breast reduction surgeries so if we talk of increase in the breast size we most of commonly it is done with the help of implants these days very good quality implants are available which are smooth surfaces 
and chances of cancers are much much lower in these implants. So we have special softwares called Crisilax where we can take the preoperative 3D photographs of the patient and uh, we can choose a particular size of the implant and then show to the patient that how or how she will look at this. So we and under the dresses also we can make them know that how good they look and what kind of projection and increase in size will be there. So breast surgery very common. Other way of increasing breast size is with the help of fat grafts, but that is only for minor deformities. Doesn't give much enhancement. Of course, it can make it look much better. And in breast reduction surgery, what we do is when the breast is very heavy and is causing a lot of problems like shoulder pain, under breast excoriations, heaviness, back pain. So in those cases, we can reduce the size of the breast and look it much better. This is called breast reduction surgery and it is a very good surgery where we can achieve a very good symmetry with the body and achieve very good results. Then another surgeries are abdominal surgeries that is tummy tuck or liposuction surgeries. We, in the, most of the time post-pregnancy, the skin become loose. There is a lot of fat accumulated because of the pregnancy and other things. So in these surgeries, we remove the fat also and as well as tighten the skin and the inner layer of the uh, dummy uh, that is abdomen which are rectus muscle and rectus sheath that is also tightened and make it look like a pre-pregnancy state. So they are very good surgeries. Similarly, liposuction, we can remove extra fat from the body and give a desired shape to the body. We should know that liposuction is not a weight reducing procedure but it is a body reshaping procedure and we can give eight packs to the patient by removing certain areas of fat in certain areas and refilling other areas. Another is a surgery commonly done is called butt augmentations or a kind of Brazilian butt surgeries. So where we uh, put a lot of fat or implant into the buttocks and give a desired shape. I must remind here that all these surgeries should be done by a qualified plastic surgeon or a cosmetic surgeon. And you must understand that these surgeons are board certified surgeons, whether they are from the Indian Board of Aesthetic Surgeons or American Board of Aesthetic Surgeons or International Board of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons. So you must see the qualification of the surgeon before you undergo these kind of surgeries because in the market you see that a lot of cosmetologists and other people are there which are not qualified to do surgeries. That's why a lot of complications and even uh, death can occur from these surgeries if not done by a qualified person. So always, always see the qualification of the person and see that it is uh, the, your surgery is a board certified surgeon. For any queries regarding cosmetic surgeries, plastic surgeries, you can always contact us. And another, uh, then there are non-surgical type of uh, facial enhancement or facial procedures, which are fillers. They are hyaluronic acid fillers or Botox for facial lines, wrinkles, then there are a lot of laser procedures which can tighten the skin, enhance the skin, a lot of chemical peels, micro needlings, all these procedures are also very useful for non-surgical patients, for those patients which do not want any surgeries. Then we can also tighten the face with the help of high frequency ultrasonics that is called HIFU that also gives a reasonably good tightening to the skin but we must remember that these are short lasting procedures and last for about for an year or so but you can get them done in a very fast manner in the say in a limited time in the clinic and go back home immediately without any problems what is about uh, cosmetic and plastic surgery if you want to know anything else about the cosmetic surgery we you are most welcome to know us let us know thank you